About a year ago, I switched from the free version of DaVinci Resolve to the paid version. Was switching necessary? If you're a pro editor, can you get away with using the free version? And when do you know it's time to make the switch to studio? In this video, I'm gonna let you know, and I'm gonna share what real life video editors need to care about, do care about, and if it really is worth spending the money to make the switch. If you're new here, Will and I release weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials, and coming up, we're gonna be releasing a whole whack load of tutorials looking at some of the features and effects that I discuss in this video. So to stay in the loop, subscribe to our channel. Now let's hop in there and start comparing. Okay, first things first. The free version of Resolve is pretty impressive and they don't try and pull any sneaky moves like limiting how often you can use the free version or adding a watermark to all your videos when you export them. The only reason a watermark would be added to one of your clips is if you go to use an effect or a feature that's only available in the studio version, but you'd see it right away. And in some cases, they still will let you use that feature or effect so that you get an idea of how amazing it actually is. You can also use the free version offline, update to the very latest release, and export in up to 60 frames per second in 4K. Overall, I found this to work fine for me because the video projects I typically work on, I'm exporting in 4K resolutions at 24 frames per second. And if you have any questions about the studio version versus the free version, you're probably not the only one wondering what you're wondering, so feel free to drop them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer. The free version also includes multi-editor collaboration, stabilization for shaky footage, slow-mo, even green screen chroma keying. There are also a lot of cool title effects as well as HDR color grading. Things are gonna run slower in the free version. So if you have tight deadlines or you like maximizing your efficiency working, this might be a problem for you. The free version does support pretty much all 8-bit video formats, but footage shot at a bit rate of 10 just doesn't handle too, too well. And the free version only uses one GPU whereas the studio version utilizes multiple, making Resolve operate better and giving you better performance. So 100%, I would say that if you're new to DaVinci Resolve or you're new to editing, the free version is the place to start. The free version is great for hobbyist or casual video editors. And even if you are a professional video editor, yes, you can, because I did it, you can still get by using the free version. But if you're getting paid to edit and you're doing this professionally, buying the studio version, it's gonna first of all, save you tons of time. It's gonna be better performance for your computer and it's gonna open up so many other amazing effects and features and opportunities for you to grow and become an even better editor. Here are my favorite and my most used features and effects from the studio version. A lot of the video projects I work on have people on screen and of course they want to look their best. And the studio version has a few effects and features that make people's skin look much better, enhance their facial features, brighten their eyes, reduce bags under their eyes, whiten their teeth, add blush and lipstick. You can smooth someone's skin out, you can reduce wrinkles. Just the face refinement effect alone is worth making the switch to studio. You can still make someone's skin look better in the free version of Resolve. And on a side note, I did create a tutorial teaching you how to do so but it just takes longer to do. Super scale is another amazing feature. It allows you to take footage that was shot at a lower resolution and enhance it. So if you're working with a clip that was shot at 720, you can make the quality of it look like it was shot in 1080 and 4K. But first using this, I was skeptical, but I gotta say it is quite an impressive feature that I use more than I expected to. Music Remixer is another great tool available in the studio version. It lets you take a song, you can quiet or even remove the lyrics from that song. You can remove different instruments, quiet them or make them louder. Another quick thing, rendering a video is much faster than in the free version. Relight is another amazing tool that literally allows you to add lights to your scene in post. It's wild and it opens up a lot of opportunity to better stylize your work. Another one of my favorite features that I use all the time in the studio version is Magic Mask. 
It lets you isolate and track objects or people so that you can do things like add text behind a mountain, put someone in a completely different background. And I don't know if you've ever tried to manually mask and track an object or a person, but it's really time consuming, it's really tedious. And Magic Mask, it makes being creative way, way easier. This is another effect that I think is worth the entire price of the studio version alone. I often get asked by clients to add closed captions to videos and the studio version can instantly create them, which is way less time consuming than manually having to type word for word out, which is what you had to do in the free version. When it comes to working with dialogue audio, another major need that I have is the ability to remove distracting, annoying background noise. In the free version, there are some ways to do this, but I gotta say, the paid version of Resolve has a really simple, easy to use tool that does an amazing amazing job in way less time. Just check out this before and after and you'll see what I mean. This is an audio test to see if I can reduce and maybe even remove this fan sound that's happening in the background while I'm talking. This is an audio test to see if I can reduce and maybe even remove this fan sound that's happening in the background while I'm talking. Pretty amazing. If you're like me and you create a lot of horizontal videos that you then have to reformat for social media in vertical form, Smart Reframe is another awesome feature. It's super simple to use and it makes reformatting your video projects very, very easy. Another amazing thing about the studio version is that you pay just once, one time fee, and then you get to use it forever, including any future updates that they have. With the paid version, you have lifetime access and you can use it on up to two computers. One of the many things I love about DaVinci Resolve in general is truly they're always working to put the editor first. They're constantly releasing new, incredibly useful effects and features, and they actually listen when you give feedback. We've given feedback on a few things, and then when we go to update, we see those changes. And as someone who used to work in a different editing platform where if you'd put a complaint in or give feedback, you didn't feel heard. I feel truly appreciated and like I matter to DaVinci Resolve. That feeling alone to me is worth the money. So if you're a professional video editor, if you make money from your video editing projects, without a doubt, it is worth the investment of buying DaVinci Resolve Studio. I've seen how much I've improved as a video editor and a lot of that's because of all of the amazing features and effects that I have access to in DaVinci Resolve Studio. If you wanna know any of the gear that we recommend and use, like our favorite hard drive, because it's super fast, it's super small, and it's super durable, I have dropped it, don't drop it ever, but I have and it's been okay, then check out the links below. Here are some other great videos that you should check out after this one. I hope you have a lovely day and we'll see you in the next video.